Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Lies of P. I'm your Game Master Darius, Lady we drift off. Really? I can't use that here? Weird. Funky, even. Alright. I guess it might make sense. Anyways, last we left off, we have just arrived at Hotel Krat. Spoken with a couple of individuals, and, um... I guess we're about to be on our way to where Geppetto was. Or I'm exploring the manor some more. Or hotel. The hotel, not a manor. It's only big like a goddamn manor. Holy shit. Mind you, my experience with manors is not exactly extensive. Yep, okay. Oh, this door? No. Light fixture. Has a bust. Also locked. Rosa is a better street entrance key. Alright, so I guess I go through this way. Now, I got something called a puppet string. You purchased item from Paladina. The motel. I did that some. Oh. Alright. That explains that. Hmm. <sighs> Part of the yawning is like. Ugh. Even had myself a little bit of a break from uh, recording the first episode of this so that I can, you know, just kind of chill a little bit. It's been a bit of a busy past couple of days. Why do I got a feeling that this is going to be one of those cases of me and I probably should get out the now lying screens. Nah, we're fine. The now lying screens can't be anywhere near as bad as Bloodborne's loading screens for PlayStation 4. Oh, right. Uh, bit, bit. Bit. There we go. What are you doing? Hey, let's be more careful. Ooh. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But, don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later, when we're safe. I'm gonna just avoid the li limelight here. Man, these, these would be some pretty good looting times. That thing had better not fall on me as I'm using this thing. Really quick, though. Oh, I can teleport to another stargazer. You can transfer from one stargazer to another. You can only travel to those you have activated. Stargazers in areas with an event will be marked with a hint. Neat. That's actually really cool. I can swap out my legion arm. If I had anything besides the puppet ring. Actually, one second. Puppet string. Legion arm can release a wire. Can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or to move you toward it. Trace. Press and hold the legion arm button to trace. Track an enemy. Uh, enables dodging after a hit. Attack link. If you pull or wire trace an enemy and press and hold the legion arm button, it will trigger a link attack. I'm Jiminy, your friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide. Puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. I... That's pretty cool. 
Actually, one of the things I was going to look into was how much to level up. Uh, wait. Did I not level up at these ones? Or do I have to level up specifically at... Sophia? Let's go ahead and try to use... Let's see, that's 300 per. I'll only use two. Gets us to eight. Then two of these. Okay, yeah. And then X to go back to hell, Hotel Cramp. Okay, so I can't level at the Stargazers. Not all of them, anyways. It seems like I specifically need to go back to Sophie to do so. Hello. I'll use my power to help you. Level up. I like damage. Worth. Ergo is the miracle that made Kraut prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Kraut wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. I do like being stronger. In the folklore of Kraut, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. Is he my conscious? As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. He's also my conscience. Got it. Alright, so... Okay, this is a giant stargazer. Nope, wrong button. All right, let's go back to Elysian. This is a very interesting, unique setting so far. What is that? Like, I I'm assuming it's a dude wearing a wolf mask, but I'm more re more referring to the weapon he's wielding. What is that? Because I want it. It's a very dead horse. There you go. Hey, hello there, sir. I suppose I probably should have used that a little bit uh, more uniquely. Oh. Ooh. All right, so, okay. It does have a certain number of uses. Her every single time that I do basically anything. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. But that was long ago. The four puppet frenzy. Puppet frenzy. Let me guess. Yup. Shortcut time. I really do need to use my Ergo skills. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Oh, shit. Frick. Oh. Ow. Cease that. Also cease that. Not sure how much I should be aggressive versus how much I should be a defensive. Hello. Lara F fifteen O model. Yes, I read that weirdly. Are you? Are you? Oh. 
Heavier, but more resistance. Yeah. Heavier, but I liked it. Like that most of the time. Ooh. Okay, that's a ladder. No dadar. Whoa. Nice try. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that just so as I can recharge it. There we go. I'm sure something is going to try and kill me in a hot second. Push the button. Now there is an ability to jump. Uh, I just don't trust jumping in most soul fights. Oh, he's tanky. He's tanky, boy. Oh, shit. Ooh. That could have gone worse. Star fragments. Wait, 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 wait. Pretty sure I've already read the star fragmenty bits, but... A meteor fragment that can be found in different parts of cracks. It can be used at the cracks calling in front of a boss area to summon a specter. Multiplayer? Star fragments cross dimensions to grant human wishes. If you wish for it desperately enough, they may be able to summon someone who helps you want to save the world. Okay. Honestly, right now, I just kind of want to save my own hide at the moment. Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, that does break their weapon. That's heckin' sweet. I didn't even realize that's what, that it actually did, you know, break weaponry. Shit, yeah. Ha! Ah. Ow. Whoop. Stop shooting me. Makes me one slash need a gun. Oh, ha ha ha. Nice try, sir. Uh, sharp pipe. Excuse you? Oh, it's a throwing object. Oh, it does more damage. Passes through the enemy and inflicts piercing damage. Some throwable weapons boast great destructive power on their own. When combined with the strength of puppets, nothing more needs to be said. Sorry, there's whispering at that window. Hmm. Now that I am... Electric Blitz Abrasive. Excellent. Oh. Gotta love high rises. Gotta love it when they're so high. Oop, hello. Hi, Gator. Alright. That's pain. I'm not gonna be able to sneak up on this guy with that guy throwing the things at me, huh? Or maybe I am. Guy's got a hell of a throwing arm.
Down, that Fido. Down. Oh. Right. They really want me. Oh. I didn't even realize I could block him. Oh, okay. Kind of wishing I was starting to wish I had more healing, but at the same time, the way that they work the healing system is really rewarding being far more aggressive when you're lower on health. And I dig it. Hello, sir. Ow. I'm sorry, are you hitting me with a chimney sweep brush? I think that person was hitting me with a chimney sweep brush. Close the main letter. My Louise and Charlotte, my treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I too will become just another petrified corpse soon. I still remember the sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you and Charlotte to the cathedral for shelter. Ooh. I wish this nightmare was all over. If only you and the kid would, could come back, but I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Luis. I pray that you're safe there. Sadness. Is a letter never read? I lo ho 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 ho. Hi, sir. Hmm. Let me go this way a second. Hello, sir. Okay then. I see the shiny. I want the shiny. I acknowledge the shiny. Okay, I have a stupid idea. Uh, A. B. Uh, B didn't work. Oh. Ow. God, it feels so good doing that. All right, what is this? Give life amulet. Oh, this isn't equipable, ain't it? Increases max HP. An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet. Information and memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special powers. The slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. Puppets do not have life, but is enough to move them. How much did that increase it by? Uh, unequipped. HP. Oh. It looks like a significant amount. Hey, a stargazer. Hurry. Just gonna use that and look around a little bit. Hi. Oh, Cratchit. Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> Technically. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry. I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. You know what? Wouldn't blame me if you did, buddy. Hello. Electric coil stick head. Blunt blade type. <laughs> All right. Uh, C motivation. B advance. D technique. How is that compared to mine? Kind of wish I could see. Attribute resistance and pool. 
Okay. When used, it enhances resistance to overheat, electric shock, decay, and corruption. A robust defensive dis uh, position is sometimes better than attacking. The resistance ampoule was developed to raise puppets' tolerance to abnormal statuses. What are you? Electric canister that can be thrown at a close range creates a pool of electric blitz where it lands. Oh. The crack dis disaster drastically increased the workshop's battle expertise. They produced a steady flow of combat inventions, and some of these disappeared into the hands of black marketeers. There's the abrasive. Gemini's, or Gemini, Gemini, Gemini's iron protection. Uh, protects current ergo even in death. Food for the cricket puppet that receives help from Gemini. When used, ergo will temporarily be maintained in case of death. The Gemini model was designed so it could be fed ergo to build affinity. However, no one could have imagined that this model had another ability that was even more special. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. That's actually pretty freaking sweet. Gemini's emergency protection. Protects death ergo when hit. Food for the cricket puppets. Uh, when used when there is death ergo to reclaim, it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. The Gemini model was designed so it could be fed. Don't worry, I got you. Okay. I kind of want to buy this electric coil stickhead and handle. Generate and rush smash. Oh. Uh, damage reduction rate while guarding. Okay. Greatly increases electric blitz's attack temporarily. Oh, because it does electric damage too. Okay. Jump and powerfully strike downward at an enemy. I'm doing it. I I, I mostly want to see what it does. It is a blunt weapon, so of course. Yeah, I kind of figured it wasn't going to do as much damage physically. Oh. I have a beating stick. Alright, do I want to try to walk around here behind the merchant? Okay. I gotta find one shortcut to get to another shortcut, and then another shortcut to get to another shortcut. Easy. Actually, I just realized there was also that dude that was on the roof I could have easily have, uh... Okay. Wait, was this that dude? No. Oh man, I like this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I will usually prefer an axe. Axe, swords, maces is pretty much my preferences when it comes to weapons. But goddamn, this sucker. Okay, I, yeah, no, that's gotta be, uh. Oh, yep, that's a trap. That is a trap and a half. What's that? It's a Souls-like game where uh, narrow passageways lead to treasure? Yeah, no, that's a trap. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm sure he's fine. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, Vin Kratz, landmark guide number two. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on Elysian Boulevard and a hub for getting to Kratz City Hall. Uh, the Holy Ouroboros, the mark of the alchemists, is fittingly engraved into the bridge. This shows that the alchemists are not just powerful, privileged class, but also ha but have also donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of the philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto, the citizens are the owners of the city. The most widely known attraction is Rosa El 
yeah, Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel Monad. But if you think about how the lady is married to the leader of the alchemists, Valentinus, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organization of the alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Rating 3 out of 5. A good place to learn about Krat's beginnings, ends, and its essence. Reporter Maduro, Maduro this guide was made with the support of Vin Company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. Okay, so Lady Isabel Monad, one of the big donors, married to the leader of the alchemists. Lore! Wait, I can sense something strange. Jeepers! Is that a butterfly? Do we want to catch it? Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Wait, like, it's a warning? Do I hit it? Do I, do I smash it? Dimensional butterfly. Occasional, occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Morad's land can detect the butterfly, lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. Ah. Ah. Jiminy, buddy. You gotta warn me about these things sooner. Jiminy. Jiminy. Warning, petrification, disease, quarantine zone, no trespassers. Everything... Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not speak to them. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. I probably don't want to go down there right now. I'll, I'll, uh, I think I'll go explore more this way some. Yeah, I, I'll go explore a little bit. I want a mechanical arm. Oh. I don't need no mechanical arm. I just want one. Whoop. Shit's cool. Oh, hello, sir. Jimmy's emergency protection. Nice. Oh, is this the other side of the thing? I guess there is a sneak attack thing for the dogs. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna guess that this, um... Punk. Nope. Alright, getting through there is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna guess that this weapon's, uh... Y ability has got to be really good. Radiant Ergo Fragments. Yes, I probably. Oh, God damn it, he saw me. Wait. Why did I target the lady? Ah, uh, sure. Ow. Chunk. God, he is a tank bitch. Ow. Also, ow. God, that is a large wind up. Ow. Huh. Right, okay, so we don't hit those ladies, unless... Oh, we can use those as, like... Traps as a... After a fashion. 
don't think people are doing so hot around here. I know, Doggo. Oh, another doggo. No, not, we're not doing too bad. Wonder how long these last. Okay, not too long. I'm probably gonna call an episode here after this chest. Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. These are going to be lengthy sounding names, aren't they? Oh. Lots of resistance ups. Nice. Appendage newly developed by the Workshop Union. Can enhance resistance to electric shock. Not bad. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm at slightly heavy now. How does that affect my rolling? Not terribly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, uh, there's quite a few ways that I passed by in order to get here. And I don't think I'm ready for an area that's labeled the Petrification Zone. So... Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm really enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.